Hey guys, this video is all about a guide to conversion optimization. Hey, it's Brian Delaney, top 1% of all marketers and funnel experts in the world. And I'm on a mission to help you launch your expertise, build and scale your business, take your business to the next level and build your legacy. Hey guys, this video is all about a guide to conversion optimization. One of the topics that I absolutely love because when you launch your funnel, when you launch a new offer into the marketplace, the very first thing you should be focused on is conversion optimization. You be, should be figuring out, okay, how can I make this thing perform at a higher level? How can I make this thing roar? How can I make this thing go faster? How can I scale this thing to the moon, right? Like what's my thresholds, right? That's the thing that we're always looking at. How can I spend 10,000 a day, 20,000 a day? Because if I'm thinking on that level, well, I'm not thinking through that level unless it's producing a return on investment. Okay, so if I'm spending a dollar, I'm looking at, okay, how can I make that thing make me $4, $5, $10, right? Same thing with scale. So if I'm spending 5,000 a day, I'm thinking, okay, how can I produce 25,000, 50,000 a day, 100,000 a day, okay? That's my way my brain's wired, okay? This is how I think, right? Okay, I would encourage you to think that way, okay? So when it comes to uh, launching a funnel for your business, conversion optimization is gonna be important for you. So number one is what is your opt-in rate, okay? Something to think about, okay? What is the opt-in rate? Do you have lead magnets for your business? If you don't have lead magnets for your business, I would encourage you to get some, okay? Lead magnets are great tools to start building relationships with people before you ask them to make an investment and give you money, okay? That's number one. Number two is what's the cost to acquire a lead for your business? Okay, for webinars right now, it's typically between five to 10 bucks. Okay, so if your webinar registration rates right now are 20 bucks or 30 bucks, well then you've got some conversion optimization and some of the tips that I'm giving you here in this video will be relevant for what you need to do to drop that lead acquisition rate down, drop that lead cost down and increase your conversion rates, right? The difference between a 20% conversion and a 40% conversion is a significant game changer. The difference between spending 10 bucks a lead to spending five bucks a lead. Okay, that can completely change the game. That can go from a profitable campaign or an unprofitable campaign to a profitable campaign, right? So that's the next thing. Next, and, and then on top of that is reporting, right? So this game that we play, is a, it's a numbers game, okay? And someone on the team, someone on your team's gotta be good at the numbers and understand the math, all right? Really important. You could have a campaign that's crushing it and you not even know it, okay? Because you don't understand the breadth and depth of your numbers. Okay, so we use Google Analytics. That's a really basic uh, reporting uh, that can get that can be very advanced if you set it up the right way. Uh, or if you want to go deeper and use uh, a more a little bit more robust software on top of that, I'd recommend something like Wicked Reports. Okay, something to look into. I'm not going to talk a lot about it, but what I will say is that you need to be tracking your numbers, right? You need to have at least spreadsheets and understand the math that's taken place behind the scenes, right? Because you're not gonna know when to scale up or, or you know, and that type of thing unless you know your numbers, right? Okay, and headlines is one of the first things that we're gonna do to optimize our campaigns or, and our funnels and our advertising. So headlines first. Headlines, people will look at your headlines and they'll decide, that, I forget the numbers, but this statistically ridiculous. It's crazy. If you look at the statistics of the people that look at the headline and they say yes or no, so they're either gonna move forward with you or not, they're gonna leave if your headline resonates with them or not, okay? Biggest thing there is curiosity. Okay, curiosity did kill the cat, right? every time okay so when we're building out campaigns i don't care what they are we're looking at how can we make this how can we increase the curiosity factor how can we increase the curiosity factor okay it's something i would write down how can i increase the curiosity factor in my blog posts in my content with my lead magnets with my whatever it is that you're doing you always want to have an element of mystique and mystery and curiosity built into the campaign. It's magical. It'll increase your conversion rates like crazy, okay? In fact, right now, there's an ad campaign that Russell Brunson's running for ClickFunnels and Funnel Hacking Live, and the whole campaign is beautifully architected because it's, it, it, they, don't, they didn't let the, everyone know who the speakers were, and it's this whole promotion and campaign to reveal who is gonna be speaking 
at Funnel Hacking Live this year. And what's beautiful about that is that it, get, it allows the promotion to go and be spread out over time. And then it creates this mystique around who's speaking this year, right? And allows like seeds to be planted without telling them and then eventually opening or eventually closing the loop that was once open. In that case, they're opening, they're, they're opening the loop of like, yeah, we got these guest speakers, they're amazing. This is one guy, he's done a billion dollars and he's, he's built an audience of over a million people, right? And then it's like, well, who is it? And then they close the loop days later, right? So think about how you can apply some of that strategy to whatever it is that you sell, okay? That's what I wanna encourage you. That's why I'm creating content for you like this. I want you to start thinking a little bit different. I want you to start thinking outside the box. I want you to start thinking, how can I become a category king in my market and how can I disrupt the marketplace to become the best in the world at what it is that you do, okay? If you have any questions about conversion optimization, drop a comment below this video. I'd love to answer any questions that you might have, okay? Or if you need help with conversion optimization, we have an entire agency that does all that type of stuff for our clients. Go over to briandeline.com, check that out. That'll be in our do uh, done with you category, which is our agency where we do all that stuff from funnel development, optimization, uh, launching ads, managing ads, scaling ads, all that type of fun stuff, okay? Check it out after this video. Okay, next thing, what is your hook? Okay, here's a guide here. This is again, a guide to conversion optimization. So what is the hook that you're putting out in the water, okay? I'm a big fisherman, I love fishing. We're going out fishing next week with some guys and clients that are coming in town uh, next week. Can't wait, it's gonna be exciting. I can't wait, it's so exciting, I love fishing. But it's always important, what bait are you using? I li literally just went into the shop uh, two days ago. I was up uh, seeing uh, my health doctor, getting some blood work done, and next door to the blood doctor is a fishing store. So I jumped in, I was like, hey man, what are they catching right now? And we just had some storms come through in San Diego. So the storms kind of, you know, kind of disrupt the water system here and the water temperatures have cooled off and, you know, the, the yellow fin have gone south and the blue fin have gone south or gone deeper out. And so it's, it's hard to get to those places now to actually go and catch those fish right now, okay? It's the winter in, in San Diego here. And so I went in and he said, oh man, the winter, everything's, everyone's fishing in La Jolla right now. And here's the, here's the baits that they're doing. They're trolling with these type of lures and then they're jigging these type of lures, okay? They're jigging this red lure and they're jigging this teal lure, okay? Why are they jigging, jigging the red lure? Well, because the, of, of the lobster that are in, okay? The crabs that are in. Okay, that color is what the fish are biting on right now, okay? So super important, what's your hook, right? What's your hook? What, what's the, what, what's the, the bait that you're throwing out in the water that your dream customers are able to see that's resonating with them that they're gonna bite, okay? Super important for you to understand that. Okay, I'm fishing for uh, yellowtail, we're fishing for stuff like that, okay? So we're fishing for tuna, okay? So we, we've gotta make sure that we're not throwing out bait for, for bass, okay? Bass bait is very different than tuna bait, right? Very different than shark bait, okay? So you gotta understand what's the bait to throw out in the water, okay? Your marketplace is the water in this case, okay? So think about that. I'd love to hear some of the angles, some of the ideas that you have for your hooks and give you some feedback and give you some perspective on, on that as well. So just drop me some love and drop me a comment below this video, okay? Next thing is page speeds. Page speed is really important, okay? How fast is your, your, does your page load? Okay, this is a huge, very important for conversion optimization. Okay, page speed. Is your page loading within less than three seconds? I mean, the faster the pot, the better, okay? I've seen sites that'll take seven to 10 seconds to load, and that is killing your conversion. So we're always, something that's something that we're always going through the checklist when we launch our campaigns. We're running through what's one of the things we look at, okay? How slow is this page right now? We've got, this is a long form sales letter. This thing, is it loading slow? In one case, we found that it was loading at like 12 seconds. We're like, crap, we need to shrink our images. Someone didn't do that. So we went back, shrunk the images, dropped the page speed, page speed went down significantly, okay? Super important. You could literally double your conversions by dropping your page speed down to less than three seconds, preferably a second. Like the faster, the better, okay? Your images impact that. If you have big fat images, PNGs, all that's gonna help, that's gonna load down the page. If you have tons of videos, it's gonna load down the page, okay? Okay, and then the last thing I'm gonna talk about is an SSL certificate. I've seen a significant impact in doing this. There's two levels, 
Okay, there's the, well, there's three. The basic level, HTTP. Okay, you don't want anything that you own. No website do you want to have that. You want it to be HTTPS, a secure SSL, or you want a green bar certificate, which is uh, called an extended SSL. Okay, it's 540 bucks for the year, but for your main brand, it's a great investment. Okay, I, I have seen the difference between having it and not having it, and I just gotta say, gotta tell you, okay, contact your hosting company as soon as possible and upgrade your brand. Okay, if you have a ton of different funnels, HTTPS is typically great. Okay, just having the the the, sta the standard SSL will have an increased conversion rate of 29% compared to not having it. That's pretty powerful. Okay, a 29% increase in conversions. So if you have a thousand people that opt into your website, you could have had an additional 29% of them. Okay, that's an extra 290 people opt into your funnel against the statistical norm. Okay, or the statistics. So I don't know about you, but I'd rather have 1,290 leads on my database than 1,000. Okay, from something as simple as this, of just paying a fee to be certified at that extended level, it's a no-brainer to me. It's a peanut, it's a drop in the bucket, okay? And don't look at it as an expense, it's an investment, okay? It's an investment into your business that's gonna reap a harvest this year, next year, and the year after that, all right? So I hope that helps. Hope that it gets your brain thinking about some different ways that you can start thinking about the conversation of optimizing your funnels for conversion, even optimizing your presentations for conversion. Okay. If you have any questions about this topic, I'd love to answer any questions that you might have. Drop me some love. Um, uh, drop me a comment. Drop me a question. And again, if you need help launching your expertise, building and scaling your business, taking it to the next level, or just simply building your legacy, I'd love to help. My whole team and I are here to support you in that journey. You can go check out BrianDelaney.com and we have three categories of offers. The done with you. Okay. That's our agency offers. Okay. Everything from funnel development, offer, creation, copywriting, uh, you know, all types of things. Ad management, ad optimization, all that fun stuff. Then we have Done With You, which is our mastermind program that, that includes coaching plus mastermind plus high level events, all types of great stuff. And then also the do it yourself categories, all of our books, our webinars, and our courses. Okay, so go check out BrianDelaney.com. If there's any way that I can support you on your journey of taking your business to the next level and making a greater impact, I would love that. So let me know.